Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today Twitch has just dropped another blog post so we're gonna take a quick look at it. It's to do with tags. So on Twitch there's tags underneath your videos and also now tags to indicate whether your content is for a mature audience. What, does it contain any use of drugs, alcohol, sexual nature? So we're going to take a look at the blog post and look at some of the repercussions if you do not follow these new rules. So let's get into it. Okay, introducing content classification labels. Twitch is all about building and being part of communities created around what you're into. Okay, this, oh, we, we're just going to do the fluff right now. Okay, to do that, it's important that content is clearly labeled so you can make informed choices about what you watch. To make both of these things easier for streamers and viewers, we're introducing content classification labels. We mentioned this in January as part of our open letter on community safety, and we've got more details to share today. We've heard from streamers that it wasn't always clear when their streams needed to be labeled as mature, which is true. Like, you, like people, you're playing a video game, you're like, hey, do it, is this mature content? I mean, it's got violence and stuff, but is it violent enough? Like. As me playing Call of Duty, considered mature content. Content classification labels are more specific content labels that can be applied or removed at any point during the stream. These labels replace the existing mature content toggle and should be used any time a stream includes the following. So there's more work during the stream. You've got to remove and add content classification labels. Okay. Uh, mature content uh, should include the following mature rated games sexual themes drugs intoxication or ex guess excessive tobacco use violent and graphic depictions significant profanity or vulgarity gambling to be clear we are not making changes to our community guidelines okay with this update but instead specifying the content that while permitted on twitch needs to be labeled our content classification guidelines go into deeper delta details for each label with examples, exceptions, and more. If streamers fail to accurately label their streams, they will receive a warning via email and correct label will be applied to their streams. Streamers will not receive suspensions for failing to accurately label their streams. They will just get a warning. Okay. That said, it is important for streamers to use these accurately, so if a streamer fails to accurately label their content after multiple warnings, the relevant labels will be applied to the streamer's channel and may be locked for a period of days or weeks, depending on the number of prior warnings. So you're not saying we, we're going to, you know, suspend you or ban you, but you're saying if you keep doing it because you don't fully understand the content classification guidelines, we, we're going to suspend your account. In addition to helping streamers connect with you, how does this, okay, how does this help connect with the viewers? I mean, I get that you probably need to do it for legal reasons and I mean, you don't want a, a, like a 16 year old walking into a game where it's, what am I saying? Most 16 year old plays GTA 5, most 12 year olds play GTA 5, what has the world come to? In addition, um, I already read that. These labels help protect younger viewers and advertisers, <laughs> for the advertising and younger viewers, it makes sense. Content labeling has become a common practice across the media and entertainment industry, both from a safety perspective and to provide important information to help advertisers better target their content that ads appear alongside. This is great. Uh, it's basically, if you're playing a mature game like Dead by Daylight, good luck trying to get ads on it. Though, to be fair, ads don't really pay much anyway, so, you know, makes no difference. But you probably won't see as high as paying CPM ads now. How to label a stream. We've incorporated the new content label into existing go live flow within the edit stream info module in stream manager. Thank God Twitch doesn't allow you to restream to other streaming sites except for like, I think it was like TikTok and Instagram. Cause God damn, trying to sort this mess out as well as do your other streams. Ooh. Like these tags, these labels can be added or removed throughout the stream, so they only apply to relevant segments. Okay, hopefully mods can do this as well. When the stream ends, any labels will be applied automatically carrying over to the next stream unless manually removed. They will also be automatically applied to any VOD associated with that stream. Nobody watches VODs on Twitch, sorry. Additionally, to minimize the work for streamers, when playing entertainment software rated board, ESRB mature rated games, a mature rated game label will be automatically applied to the stream. Okay, so like Dead by Daylight is mature. It's automatically going to get the mature rating. 
Content classification labels will be available to you starting today. I, that doesn't mean available. Start using them today, otherwise, or oh, you 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 may uh, be locked for a period of days or weeks, depending on the number of prior warnings. That seems kind of all over the place. Shouldn't I just have a system where three warnings, you you get locked out for a day. Four warnings, you get locked out for. I, I, that seems like a better system, rather. This seems like. The way this is worded, it seems like your stream, like if you fail to do it, they may or may not suspend you. They may or may not suspend you. Eventually they might be like, ah, let's just suspend them. I'm sorry, lock out. It could be different for other people. Like maybe a smaller streamers get locked out instantaneously while larger streamers might have more of a leeway and then, you know, get locked out. Additionally, to minimize the work for streamers when playing in- Oh, we already said that. Content classification labels, we yet yeah, do that. Viewers may report streams that they believe warrant a label, so you can rat out on other people. If a human- if after human view of those reports, you were found to have mislabeled your stream, this is gonna get abused. I can just see it now. Streamer you don't like. Yeah! They're playing some game. I'm just going to say they have not used the appropriate tags. I saw them smoking once. Therefore, they need to include the drug intoxication or excessive tobacco use. You will receive a warning and the credit label applied. To give streamers plenty of time to understand how they will be expected to use labels, warnings issued until the 20th of July will, will only result in appropriate labels being applied to that stream but will not occur. So basically, you're just going to apply the labels to the stream and be like, don't worry about it. After 20th of July, all bets are off. Warnings will occur and repeated warnings will be labeled to a lock. Where to learn more? For more details about content classification labels, in including a comprehensive FAQ, you can refer to our help article. As many of our products and policies will need your feedback along the way to get it right. So let us know your thoughts in the user voice. What happens if I don't label my content correctly? Account suspension will not be issued for incur incorrectly labeling a stream. Oh my god, thank god. If you fail to accurately label your stream, you'll receive a warning via email. Multiple warnings will be issued before any other action is taken. Repeated failure to label content correctly may result in Twitch applying a label to your stream on your behalf and will be locked for a period of days or weeks depending. So, you, you won't get suspended straight away. But you may just not be able to stream for a while if you keep doing it. If I use curse words occasionally during my stream, do I need to apply the significant profanity or vulgar label? No, this label only needs to apply if your use of profanity or vulgar language in a persistent and excessive manner throughout the duration of your stream. Think cursing someone out in a game lobby. Various versus the occasional use of the F word or a genuine reaction to a moment in a horror game. For example, our details on what content does or does not lead where you convert to our guidelines. If I smoke or drink occasionally during my stream, do I need to use the drugs, intoxication, or excessive tobacco use label? Our focus here is on sustained and prolonged activity. For alcohol use, sipping on a drink while streaming wouldn't require a label, but appearing visibly intoxicated at the point you are slowing speech or making being drunk the focus of a stream would require a label. What happens if you're not fully aware of how drunk you are? What happens if you're just sipping and that makes you intoxicated? Uh, as intoxicated, are you going to be able to think, Oh, you know what? I need to include the uh, drugs, intoxication, or excessive tobacco use. Let me go do that real quick. Smoking a cigarette or vape while stream wouldn't require a label, but intentionally drawing attention to that you're smoking... What do you mean intentionally drawing? Hey guys, I'm smoking right now. I'm, sm I'm smoking. Shit, I need to put the label on. Uh, use of marijuana in any form would require a label. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Alcohol, yeah, you, you, mate. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I'm just, yeah, okay, fine. It, I, it makes sense for, like, advertiser friendliness. All right. But I, the whole idea is like, what if I swear? Yeah, occasional swear. What does occasional mean? This is one of the things that is, like, on YouTube as well. It isn't just Twitch, but what does occasional mean? Like, how often do I not need to, how often do I need to space out the swearing? Well, if I just go on a tirade for about five minutes, but the rest of the stream, I don't do any, I don't swear at all. Does it suddenly mean, oh, that five minutes you need the label, but for the rest of the stream, you're fine. What do you mean by sexual themes? 
Examples of sexual and theme include prolonged or repeated kissing of another individual object. If I... So if I kiss an object repeatedly, it's therefore a sexual theme. Okay. <sighs> Detailed non-educational discussions of sexual topics or experience. What do you mean non-educational? Do I, do I have to label it as educate? Oh, by the way, let me talk about the experience I had last week. It's educational. Don't worry. And content or behavior that is likely to elicit a mature chat conversation. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm f on Twitch now. Um, to be more direct, many SR, ASMR practice are focused on mindfulness and not sexual, but we consider kissing or licking a microphone to fall with sexual themes. <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah. Additionally, many hot tub streams are intended to draw attention to body parts such as buttocks, groin, or breast, and will need to be labeled. I'm sorry. <laughs> buttocks, groin, or I get it. I mean, I, I understand why this is, needs to be placed. I'm comp yeah. It's, it's just funny how the way it's worded. I don't know. For more examples of details of what contents or doesn't need, you can read the guidelines. How long will I know? How will I know how long labels will be locked on my channel? Go to content classification field in your stream manager, wherever hover over the label and currently locked on your channel. Okay, so does it mean you're locked out from streaming or the label's locked on so you make less money from ads? That's interesting. Can I change my selected content classification labels part right through the stream? Yes, you can. Okay, great. So that five minutes where you're completely mad drunk or you're I don't know, kissing something by accident or you're smoking an incredible amount. And, you know, every time you, you can easily just change it while you're doing it. I, I gotta quit. I just gotta down this bottle of whiskey. All right, I'm fine now. I don't... I, okay, I can understand. Mainly for, like, switching games. If you've gone from Fortnite to GTA or something like that, you might want to change the label so you can get better advertisement rate. This just seems like a load of work. I get it. But wouldn't it be better just to have like an automated system for like games? Like even though they literally said to be fair earlier that if you do a ESRB mature rated game that you'll automatically apply the mature rated stuff. So fair enough. If I apply these labels will my travelry channel's discoverability be impacted? When you apply these labels to your stream and International will be shown to viewers informing. Oh my god, this, this always. Oh, hey, this content's got sponsors. Hey, this content contains mature content. Once the viewer provides consent, they can watch this. So they have to click an extra button. They have to sit through like five ads to to watch the stream, or they have to click a button, then watch the five ads. There's just so many extra steps of them getting into you watching your content that this might put off a lot of people on you. It probably will impact your discoverability. You using these labels will not impact your stream's visibility and any discovery surface. In the future, we may use it as an input to personalize views for recommendations. So it won't impact you yet, but in the future, they may go, oh, mature content. We might not want to push this out. Can my editors or mod help add or remove content classification labels to my stream? Editors can change the content classification on your stream, but moderators cannot. So your editors can, your mods cannot. Great. Oh my god, mature rated games, sexual frames. So, you know, just in case, um... Clearly smoking a joint on stream is... You need... Spl slurring speech. What if you have verbal dyslexia and... Your default talking is slurring speech. Like, I have messed up a lot of words during the reading of this. And it may seem like I, 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 I assume they'd probably mean very, you know, visibly, or audibly hearing slowing speech, like slow down. Glorifying or prolonged skips in... Okay, so talking about tobacco counts. Great. Creating a compilation scenes from highly risky games. Okay, creating art that features mul alteration of gore. Okay, high realistic game or live action movie where motor characters are violently killed. Okay, it's, it's fine. Uh, gambling, just, yeah. Intimate use of vulgar language, brief or occasional outbursts, or me frequent use of my final energy terms like damn shit or ass. Streamers that use extremely vulgar language in persistent and excessive manner throughout the duration of the stream must mark for vulgar language. 
For example, if a strong language is regular to find a part of your stream or content, they use the terms like or in every other sentence you must notify users. Well, that's going to completely destroy the Scottish uh, streamers. <laughs> oh, great. Yay. Um, I mean, it's understandable why they're doing this. Clearly, it's for advertisers. Yeah, sure, it's for viewers and, you know, they probably have an obligation to make sure that younger viewers don't end up watching stuff about sexual themes. But it's kind of funny that you can change these uh, labels during a stream. So if you end up having a tirade for like 20 minutes where you keep using every five I don't, I don't know what a tirade means. I mean, I've been on like a 20 minute, 10 minute tirade, which would consist of persistent and excessive. excessive. Also talking about sex and all that stuff and use of alcohol and tobacco. You know, during that part, you're going to have to say, Ah, oh, guys, this is the, the alcohol talk section. And then if you're talking about sex as well, then that's also the sex section. <laughs> oh, yeah, great. Just uh, And editors can do it, not mods. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of work you need to do during a stream. So it's pretty much going to be like, Okay, if I know I'm going to get drunk during the stream, I might as well just put the tags in to begin with. Yeah, I, it makes sense. Um, I'm not sure about uh, these punishments, though. They seem vague, and you get locked with the tags. Maybe locked for a period of weeks, depending on the number of prior warnings. It sort of feels like how YouTube deals it if you miss um, advertiser friendly your content. So uh, during the whole debacle when they changed, uh, when you can say F in your video, like, ah, oh, it used to be in the first. 45 seconds you can say but then they changed it to the first 15 seconds you can say and that completely over everyone and I kept getting hit with oh this this content isn't advertiser friendly even though it was completely advertiser friendly so I had to keep manually reviewing all the content to go hey this is advertiser friendly and it completely me for about six weeks so thanks YouTube uh, is it going to be something like that where oh, I won't impact your stream yet even though they clearly have plans to maybe implement uh, viewer personalized recommendation and it may impact your CPM with advertisers not wanting to understandably, you know, have that sort of content being promoted with alongside their content. It makes sense, you know, but remember, uh, if you're a hot tub stream and you have a photos on your buttocks, groin, or breasts. Make sure you, you're labelled with sexual content. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Whether you agree with it, disagree with it. I'm kind of like, I understand why they need to do it. This is something on YouTube as well. They have a whole list of, like, every time when you're monetized, they have, like, a list of, hey, what does this fall under? Like, is it sexual content? Is it going to be advertiser-friendly? And they used to do it automatically for you, but then, like, I don't know, a couple of years ago now, they changed it so where you have to do it. That's a pain in the ass, but... I get it, the Twitch is doing the exact same thing. And, um... Yeah, maybe it's going to discourage people from, you know, playing certain games and using certain words. But we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Marvelous. Together on the track. Let's go. Red sus, red sus. 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 Red sus, sus.